here with Larry Dutton at Concordia College at the conclusion of our 136th academic year. Wow. And here you are at the celebration of your 40th anniversary mm -hmm. as the Emerson String Quartet. Can you tell us something? Here we are at an institution of higher education, something about your musical education pathway. My story is an, a bit unusual. I, I'm a product of public school education. Both my parents did not know anything about music. So one day went down to the auditorium and they were showing the instruments and I came home and told my parents I want to play. I want to play the violin. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. I want to play the violin. And uh, fortunately, teacher was uh, amazing, recognized I had talent, started teaching me privately. And eventually he came to my mom and said he needs a better teacher. Took me to Margaret Pardee, great teacher at Juilliard. And the rest is, is, is history. So you grew just, up here in New York? Grew up here on Long Island, actually. Long Island, yeah. And then, and then the founding of the Emerson String Quartet. Oh wow, that's uh, that's a <laughs> that's an amazing story. I was actually my path with that is that I always had passion for chamber music, and when I was at Juilliard, I found the people that had the great passion for it. And we used to read chamber music all through the night, uh, you know, to so many Haydn string quartets, yes. so much rich, great music, and met a lot of great people, great players that played an Orpheus Ensemble and it turned out Phil Setzer was in the Orpheus Chamber Ensemble and I met him and through a mutual friend uh, found out that they were looking for a violist and I auditioned for the Emerson when I had just turned, I was still 22, I turned wow. 23 wow. when I joined the Emerson so May uh, this is. year is 40 years for me. Here we are, nine Grammys later. Thanks for yes. the joy of music with Larry Dutton. <laughs>